Hello, I'm Murray Newlands. Welcome to another episode of the Future of Engagement. Now we're going to look at Google Hangouts on Air. What are they? Well, previously you've been able to have a video conversation, a chat with a group of a limited number of people. Now you can broadcast that out. This is getting a lot of people taking this up, sharing it as news. The conversation about this is generally more positive than negative. Why is this interesting and what can you do with it? Well, live can be great for engagement. You can ask people to do things, send things in from around the world. You have a real sense of intimacy with your audience and immediacy. They can ask you to do things and you can do them live, on camera, to an unlimited audience. The downside to live is that anything can happen and once you've said it, it's broadcast. Also, it's very difficult to have great content all of the time. But what could you do with this? Some ideas. Well, Google's already given the example of someone having a slam dunk competition where people were sending things in and asking him to do things on camera, which he was doing. Someone else broadcast live from the back Great Diary Reef. What else could you do though? If you're having an event, a meetup, a webinar, that could actually be live. You can have it live within locality and then broadcast that out and get a much bigger audience for it and engage many more people. Also, let's say you have a small store. If you are having a sale in that store, you could actually broadcast that sale and get people to engage with that live. Obviously, the key thing is keep it interesting, keep it engaging, make sure there's benefit both for the people live as well as the people at the physical locality and people watching it online. I'm Murray Newlands, you're watching the future of engagement. If you'd like to try social media monitoring yourself, go to alerty.com, use the code alertyvideo. I'll see you next time.